Hello, Bionicle fans! Happy New Year! Hope you had a great happy holidays. To cap off the month of December, or should I say, do December <laughs> Not as funny as October. Hey, at least Zactanuary is around the corner. <laughs> uh, okay, that's the last one. Anyway, Bionicle has had a whole slew of characters through its decade-long storyline, from its heroes that save the universe, or its villains that seek to destroy it. However, we are not diving into the web of good or evil. We seek those in the middle, characters we care or care for, beings who we feel are similar or like us, or even those we simply sympathize with. My name is the Shadowed One One, and this is my list for the top 10 sympathetic Bionicle characters. This list only includes Generation 1 characters and includes heroes, villains, and some in the middle. This list is my personal opinion, and facts are taken from the official Bionicle storyline. Let's get on with the show. At number 10, we have Nidigi. Nidiki is number 10 on this list only due to his nature in the expanded universe written by Greg Farshte. Thanks to short stories like Birth of a Dark Hunter and the many deaths of Toa to Yet, we really get to see Nidiki before he became the monstrosity who battled Likan in the Toa Metro. Nidiki was a Toa of Air and friend of Toa Likan, who became tired of his lifestyle everywhere he went. He betrayed Likan to the Dark Hunters, only to be found out and banished from Metro Nui. He was denounced forever by Lacan. You lost the right to call me brother long ago! Nidiki did regret his decision, as greed took control of him. He joined the Dark Hunters and became friends with Lariska, but attempted to leave, only to be mutated into an insectoid monster by Rudaka. The transformation even horrified Lariska. Nidiki was forever doomed to be a monster and a Dark Hunter. He later fought against his former brother and the Toometru, only to be killed by Makuta Teradax during the Great Cataclysm. Nidiki was once a great hero who became corrupted and became the very thing he feared, a monster. At number 9, we have Makuta Krika. Krika is number 9 on this list because he was the only Makuta who truly was against Teradax's plan to conquer the Matoran universe. Makuta Krika was a member of the Brotherhood of Makuta who served for good under Matanui. When Teradax plotted to take control of the universe, Krika only joined in because he knew he would meet his end if he opposed it but also thought nothing good would come of it if it succeeded. He was right on both counts. He also disobeyed Teradax's orders to kill their former leader, Miserix, and mercifully imprisoned him on an island. Later in Cardanui, he attempted to stop Teradax's plan by making the Toa Nuva leave the core. He showed respect for the heroes unlike the others. When Krigal learned that Teradax betrayed them all, he attempted to warn his Makuta brothers, but he was killed by Gorast. When the energy storms began, Gorax realized Krikar was right, that he was trying to save them, and all the Makuta met their end. Krikar was the only Makuta who could have prevented the reign of darkness that followed, and that is why he is on this list. At number 8, we have Tren Krom. Tren Krom is number 8 on this list because he was once the one who powered the great spirit robot before he was discarded by the great beings once they created Matanui. Tren Krom may have the visage of a horrible creature that could drive you mad by sight, but he is not a monster on the inside. He still cradles the Matoran universe as his duty, and cares greatly for all the inhabitants despite being cast aside. He aided the Order Matanui against Teradax during his reign, and eventually helped save the universe he once protected. That is why Tren Krom is on this list. At number 7, we have Putaka. Brutaka is on this list due to him losing his place in the universe. Brutaka was an Order of Matanui member, and was, or is, the friend of Axon. Both were stationed on Voyanui by the Order to guard the Mask of Life, and the Matoran that resided there. When Matanui fell into a coma, and the Great Cataclysm occurred, Brutaka lost faith in the Great Spirit, and sought to claim the Mask of Life for himself, and aided the Puraka. He nearly killed the Toa Nuva, and the Toa Naika, and the Matoran Resistance team. Axon tried to help his distraught friend, only to watch him fall into darkness. Brutaka was defeated and sent to the pit, where he regained his sense of justice and duty to Matanui, and continues to redeem himself for his past actions, even in the current story. At number 6, we have Mavra. Mavra is number 6 on this list due to his love of Rahi, and his willingness to do anything to protect them. He was an eager but misguided scientist in Metro Nui who loved underwater Rahi. He exiled himself from the city to get them out as well. He came into conflict with the Toa Metru, thinking they were there to take him and his Rahi back to be imprisoned in Metro Nui. During the battle with the Toa, after seeing the error of his ways, he was washed underwater and drowned. Though he was revived on the Red Star, his death was still meaningful and left an impact on the Toa Metru and those who were his friends. At number 5, we have Dekar Hydraxon. Dekar Hydraxon is number 5 on this list as twofold and one and the same. Dekar was a hunter in Mari Nui who cared for his friends. 
He was brave and defended his home. When the Mask of Life floated down to the pit, and Dekar's friend Kyrex found it, Dekar took it upon himself to destroy it. The Baraki seeing it nearly killed him for it. The Mask of Life transformed Dekar into the new Hydraxon, the former jailer of the pit who was killed by Takadox to fight for it. The Matoran known as Dekar was practically erased from existence. He remains dormant in the form of Hydraxon and may never return. Dekar's tragedy and transformation is why he's on this list. At number 4, we have Samad. Samad is number 4 on this list as he wasn't always evil. Before the serial Samad's Tale, he was a slaver who captured Agori and sold them, and fought against the Katorian on many occasions. The serial expanded on his character and defined him. He was a Nagori of the Iron Tribe. His people sold their iron and minerals to other tribes, making for good business. Samad was a businessman, and he had a great love of his life. He lost it all due to the dreaming plague caused by Anona, who wiped out his tribe. Samad went out to find the reason and confronted his foe and eventually succeeded in ending Anona's reign of hunger. Samad is on this list because he was a normal good soul who was forced to survive by any means necessary. Who are we to say if he's evil if we were in his place? At number 3, we have Fakama. Fakama is number 3 on this list because he was a Matoran turned Toa, who turned to Raga, who achieved his destiny at great danger and great loss. Fakama is one of the more relatable characters because he never saw himself as a Toa, and never believed in himself until Toa Lakan made him believe. When Toa Lakan met his end by Pterodax's hand, Fakama finally overcame his doubts and became a true Toa, and defeated Makuta. Fakama faced many dark challenges and dangerous foes like Pterodax, the Shadowed One, and more, only to overcome them and become stronger for it. Even as a Turaga, he passed his wisdom on to make others better for it, and that is why Vakama is on this list. At number 2, Kakua Takanuva. You were always different. <laughs> you were always different describes him best. Takua Takanuva is number two on this list because he is by far one of the most relatable and understanding characters in the Bionicle storyline. Takua is the first Matoran ever created and an Avatoran. He would eventually become the first Toa of Light and seemingly defeat Makuta Teradax. He later helped the Toa Nuva reawaken Matanui. Let's talk about Takua. He was a Matoran who thrived and lived for adventure. He was a chronicler and it literally cataloged the story of Bionicle. He was brave, courageous, and daring. Important of all, he cared about his friends and protected them at all cost. He became best friends with Jaller, who sacrificed his life to save Takua against the Rakshi. His sacrifice is what made Takua believe in himself, and thus his transformation into Takanuva. In turn, Takanuva saved Jaller, and they are still friends to this day in the story. And finally, at number one, Matoro. Being a Toa isn't about who's strongest, or the toughest, or has the best mask power. It's about spirit, and by that measure, you are a great Toa. Matoro is number one on this list because, well, it's pretty obvious why. Matoro is the most sympathetic and relatable characters on this list and the entire Bionicle storyline. Matoro was once a Matoran on Matanui, then on Matanui, who eventually became a Toa of Nika Vice and later a Toa of Mario Vice before finally achieving his destiny and sacrificing himself to save the life of Matanui. Matoro is number one not just for his sacrifice but for his soul, bravery, and compassion for his friends. Thing is, Matoro never truly had any friends when he was on the island of Matanui. He became the trusted translator and friend of Turaga Nuju, who was also a former Toa. When he arrived back on Matanui, he learned that Matanui was dying. He eventually teamed up with Jalar, Nuparu, Hali, Hyuki, and Kungu to attempt to save the Great Spirit. We didn't know if, but the Mask of Life knew it wanted Matoro as a guardian, so it tested him, and Matoro proved himself over and over again. He faced many great fears like Kurzani, the Paraka, the Baraki, and even Makuta Teradax himself, only to overcome them. The Kanoi and Naika chose him to save Matanui, and he did so willingly and without fear. In Matoro's last gesture of friendship, he saved his fellow Toa from death. He proved to not only be just the greatest Toa, but the greatest hero in the entirety of Bionicle. And that is why Matoro is number one on my list. And that concludes my top 10 sympathetic Bionicle characters. Tell me what you thought of my list. If you disagree, tell me who you would pick as your top 10 sympathetic Bionicle characters. Comment and like, it helps me out. I hope you enjoyed. And have a happy new year, everybody.